Hello YouTube. After two months of not uploading a video at all, Everything You Pan is back with a video. And uh, I know it's been a long time, it seems like, since I've uploaded a video, and I apologize for that. But it is that time of year again where school is back, um, which does suck. But it's my senior year, and you know, I gotta make sure I'm on top of that stuff. But um, YouTube just has not been my main focus at this point in time right now, and I know that it should be one of them, not my top. And it shouldn't be the top focus because you know, I gotta graduate. Um, but the second part kind of to do with YouTube is that I kind of just took a break for a little while because you know, I was just not stressful, but just after a while, you know, some of them, some of the YouTubers just need a break, and so it was kind of a mixture of just needing a break, and um, that I wasn't focused on it a lot. So, again, I apologize for not uploading in a while, and I'm going to try and upload whenever I can, so I don't know, I really do not have a schedule, so there could be points where I upload every other day for a couple weeks, and then I may not upload for a month, and then I could be back in a month where I'm uploading every other day for another, like, week or two, or whatever, who knows it may not even be every other day it could be every three or four days it could be every day I'm not sure what I'm doing but just, ex just don't expect the video every day or every other day sometimes um, even if there's a point in time where I'm uploading every other day just bear with me I'm not sure what I'm gonna do because I'm honestly still running out of ideas not sure what I'm gonna do yet but enough of that I'm gonna go ahead and get into today's video which is going to be a Windows tutorial this is going to be a, a VirtualBox tutorial, excuse me, on how to install Windows 98 Second Edition in VirtualBox, and this is going to be basically kind of an updated tutorial from the one that I posted a long time ago, about three years ago, which was one of my first videos on my channel. So it's basically just kind of an updated tutorial. So let's go ahead and begin. There's going to be three links in the description. One of the links I will be talking about in this video um, that has changed. So if we open up our web browser here, um, VirtualBox is going to be the first link in the description. So download it if you have not for your specified operating system. You can download the extension pack too if you would like. The second link in the description is going to be WinRAR. Um, so you can download it for your specified language and either 32 or 64 bit depending on your computer. And then the third link. Now this is the one that everybody has been uh, always complained about when I've had them. I have gone back to uh, add fly links and CPM new th excuse me new thing called CPM link and um, one reason for that is just because WinRAR or WinRAR WinWorld PC actually did shut down their website. They are planning to try and get that back up, um, but their site is down and has been shut down for almost a week now and uh, so you were not able to access all of their files to download straight from their website and another reason why I changed it back to AdFly links instead of doing just direct Google Drive links because I now have all my files uploaded to Google Drive and there's no more passwords um, was because revenue for YouTube has been down um, lately uh, people have known for the last how many months of uh, you know the ad boycotts and all that crap um, revenue hasn't been as high for people and so I'm trying to make as much I'm trying to make money here I'm not trying to sound like greedy but it's just you know I'm getting not as much income as I used to and uh, so that's kind of trying to help me out so I'm going to show you the third link it's going to be a CPM link to redirect you to WinRAR now it's going to give you this page course with ads do not click on the ads because um, I know some people do complain about it being malware and there could possibly be some if you are not watching out carefully now it does take a couple tries sometimes to do this checkbox here to, um, for the capture box so if you click on the box and another link pops up just close that link and then sometimes it works on the second or third try to do the box and um, you can just ignore this down here and of course the countdown will go you click get link and then it will redirect you to AdFly now this is the last one before you get to the Google Drive page and 
course the countdown will go you do you can turn on an ad blocker for this but you cannot have your ad blocker on if you have one for the CPM link you have to turn it off for that I know that's kind of an annoying t thing but you do not have to turn it off for AdFly now if a window pops off after trying to click continue just close out of it and click continue until it actually goes through I know it takes a couple of times and it can get annoying but you should only have to do this once or you may already have this file for all I know um, so then you try and click skip ad and then there you go you now get to the page where you can download uh, the RAR file and there is no password so you can actually click get out of the link before that because that is another crap and then you're there so I'm already five minutes through almost six minutes through just from trying to explain everything before this so now we can get into VirtualBox and actually create the virtual machine after getting all these downloaded so we're gonna call this Windows 98 second edition if I can spell and then click next and leave just this as the recommended 64 megabytes and then we're gonna create a new virtual hard drive click next next and then just leave it at the base of two gigabytes and click create now we can go to settings and then once that pops up go to storage and then go to the empty ISO here and then go ahead and find the Windows 95 or 98 ISO which is for me located deep in my files right here it should be called Windows 98 SE click OK right here and then click start to start up the virtual machine you do not need a boot disk for this by the way in your floppy drive this just requires the ISO which is linked in the description so we're gonna go ahead and boot from the CD-ROM here and we're gonna start the Windows setup from the CD-ROM and uh, the key is also in the RAR file as well the product key so it's gonna come up here with this uh, setup so go ahead and click enter and then click enter one more time and then go ahead you can click either one of these options just click enter and then click enter again and then you go ahead and boot from the CD-ROM again and it's gonna load and now it's gonna format your C drive here and then once that is all formatted it's gonna do the routine check and now you are in the Windows 95 setup so here we're gonna go ahead and click in here and click continue and it's going to prepare the setup wizard now and now we're gonna select the C Windows directory click next and then check for installed components and it's going to check for available disk space and then after that it's going to come up with some options just do typical and click next install the most common components click next and then you can name your computer whatever you'd like and leave it at work group click next click your established location uh, that you would like to pick here click next and then click next to start copying files so this should not take too long maybe about five to ten minutes at the most um, and then it should be good to go so just let this sit for a little bit and it will be um, file copying here and all that stuff and then I'll be doing all that so I'll be back with you guys once we hit our first restart point okay so once it is done with the copying of files and installation here it's gonna come up with this restart window so you can go ahead and click restart now and then it's going to uh, pop up with the CD-ROM startup menu since it's still in um, just boot from the hard disk and it's going to come up with some user information type in oops any name that you would like just type in everything epan click next and then accept the license agreement here and click next and then uh, the product key will be with the or our file so I'm gonna type that in quick and I'll be right back so after typing in the product key it's gonna say Windows 98 saved all your information and click finish to continue installing Windows 98 so it's going to uh, do that and now it's gonna set up some uh, plug-and-play devices that you have and also detecting non plug-and-play devices as well so 
Should not take too long there. And if it takes a little bit, it may be a few minutes. So I'll be right back. Okay, so after it's finished doing all that, it's going to ask you to restart once again. So we're going to go ahead and do that. Restart now. And it's going to restart the machine. Go ahead and just boot from the hard disk again. And now it's going to do some more setting up of hardware. So it says the estimated time remaining is 11 minutes. It's not going to take 11 minutes to do all this, of course. So now it's getting up into the time zone, and you can pick your specified time zone, click close. And now it's going to do control panel, programs on the start menu, Windows help. Uh, MS-DOS program settings, tuning up application start, and then system configuration. Going through all those. So this is the part that you can take just a little bit, so updating system settings. So just let this run for a little bit here, and it should be done um, in about a minute or two. So just let this go here for a bit, and I'll be back once we hit that last restart point. If there's error windows that come up like this, just ignore them and click OK. I know there, there could be some that come up. I don't know how many of those. I don't remember how many of those usually come up. Maybe that might have been the only one. But if there's error windows that come up like that, just click OK. And uh, it should continue with the system settings update here. So just let it keep running. And I'll be right back with you guys again once uh, when the restart point comes up. So here we are on the third and final restart point here. So go ahead and click restart now and you can actually take the ISO out of the drive here and it will automatically boot up into Windows 98 without having that CD-ROM startup menu come up. So now it's going to pop up here with the uh, log on screen. Just go ahead and click OK and then it's going to try and find some more hardware uh, again and install a little bit of it. So then it will update system settings and you should hear the log on sound and you should see the desktop and then you will see this So you will see that window and hopefully that did not blast your eardrums with the audio there, but that window will pop up. So that means audio should work and uh, you just successfully installed Windows 98 second edition. So thank you guys for watching this tutorial. I know it's been a long time since I've uploaded and I apologize once more for that. So um, hopefully there'll be some more here in the near future, but I'll try and do it as much as I can. So leave a like on the video if you guys enjoy these tutorials. Uh, comment down below your ideas um, if you have any that I can try and do I'm not saying I will be able to do them but just your ideas so leave those comments down below and do not forget to subscribe once again thank you guys for watching and I will see you guys in the next video